Good Sunday morning. Good Sunday morning. Good Sunday morning. What another blessed, beautiful day. You know what I'm going to say. If you are listening to this program today, then you have already been given a wonderful blessing because you have the breath of life. Okay, I hope you have your Bible ready or you have your device and you're ready for today's program. This is going to be very interesting today. Um, this is like a look at ourselves, if I can if I can say it like that. The scripture reference is Mark chapter 3 and then John chapter 9. So when you get a chance after the program, read Mark chapter 3 and John chapter 9. The title of the sermon note is Church Hurt. Church Hurt. Now remember, we are the church. We're not talking about a building. Remember, we are the church. So let's talk about church hurt. There are people who come to church and then get hurt. They get ridiculed at the very place where they come for help. Give me your tired and your poor, your homeless. Lady Liberty wrote the poem. It's on the Statue of Liberty. Yet our immigrants aren't welcome. People come to the church, a place of refuge and love. At least it's supposed to be. People come with emotional pain to the church, but sometimes aren't welcome, and then they are judged. The story of the man with the withered hand and the lady that had committed adultery are instances in the Bible. No healing on Sunday for the man with the withered hand and wanting to stone the woman who had committed adultery. Church hurt. Making sense of it all. People show up at church with depression and and are met with judgment and become a topic of gossip. They take a step towards God, knock on the door of the church, then they get judged and talked about in the church. Church hurt. It's not about someone needing help financially and didn't get the help. It's about someone getting injured in their soul. Church hurt. Church is made up of people. We look like God, but we sin and hurt people in the church. Churches are imperfect because people are imperfect. The man with the withered hand would not have been allowed in church by law because of his deformity. He was a plant. They wanted to see if Jesus would heal him on the Sabbath. They tested Jesus, the same with the woman caught in adultery. It was never about the man or the woman. It was just to accuse Jesus. The clear agenda was to set Christ up. Church hurt. They already knew that Jesus was a healer and would help anybody on any day. Jesus came to help people and save people. The church tried to exploit the man's disability and the woman's moral failure. Church hurt. People caught in a power struggle between the agenda of Jesus and the church leadership. Popularity and power in church versus helping people, non-godly. Judging people that have come in for help. The church has got to repent. It's about Jesus' agenda. Jesus was grieved of this. With the Pharisees on the Sabbath, if a donkey or a mule was stuck in a ditch, They would help the donkey, but not a man in distress. They value things. They value things more than humanity. The woman caught in adultery was brought in, but where was the man? Church hurt. People in church get caught in the middle. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. All of the people left one by one. And that was in regards to the lady who had committed adultery. They brought her into the church. They caught her in the act of committing adultery, brought her in the church. 
threw her down and said, let's stone her. And Jesus said, let he who is without sin cast the first stone and no one could cast a stone because everyone that accused and brought her in had been sinning themselves. So they left one by one. Jesus knew all of them were guilty. Church hurt. Stop accusing. Jesus acknowledged the woman's sin. Grace acknowledges sin and offers more grace. Go and sin no more. When you want grace but can't give it, when you want forgiveness but won't give it, how did the lady feel about coming to the temple the next week? Have you extended grace? Church hurt. Okay, I wanted to talk about that one today. That is so important um, because people... People come to other people for help and people go to the church where the doors of the church are supposed to be open. And like I said, we are the church and we we experience church hurt all the time because like the, the man with the disability, the leopard hand, he had the disability. Uh, often, you know, people become a topic of gossip, like these sermon notes said. People come in for help, for depression and other problems in the church. But when they get to the church, which we are the church, then they get hurt instead. Let's learn to love everyone. Jesus loved and extended grace and he healed and he took care of everybody and he loved everyone. Let's learn to do the same and not do church hurt. Leave me some comments down below. All right, it's going to be another powerful week full of blessings. Get ready. Don't forget to go back and read your scripture references for today. Go out and be extra kind this week. Start in your home. Be extra kind to your husband, your wife, your children, your your grandchildren. Be extra kind when you go to the store. Be extra kind when you go to work. Be extra kind even if you're working from home and you're on a telephone line talking to someone. Let's just be extra loving this week and no more hurt anywhere. All right. Another week of powerful blessings come up. Count them and write them down. You're going to start seeing them. God is doing some things. God is doing some powerful blessings out here. All right. I love you all. Stay tuned and be blessed.